Welcome. This is Majesty Sussex Report. I'm Antonio. Thank you for spending some of your time with us. This is just a brief uh, summary or information of Prince Harry's latest uh, meeting in New York City. He has just attended the Halo Trust event. In New York City, the Halo Trust hosted an event that celebrated its mission and highlighted the personal dedication of Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, to the cause of landmine clearance. The Halo Trust, renowned for its commitment to clearing mines and exploded ordinance from conflict-affected areas around the world, focuses on making land safe again for communities restoring access to vital resources and fostering economic development. At the heart of the event was a powerful speech by Prince Harry, who has taken on the legacy of his mother, Princess Diana. In 1997, Princess Diana made headlines when she walked through a minefield in Angola, bringing the world's attention to the dangers of landmines. Her advocacy galvanized international efforts to ban landmines culminating in the signing of the Ottawa Treaty. That single symbolic act transformed global awareness and Diana became a figure synonymous with the fight against landmines. Prince Harry's deep connection to his mother's work was palpable as he shared his own experiences of visiting minefields in Angola. He recounted how walking in his mother's footstep through a once torn, war torn region was both moving and hopeful. The minefield that had been once a dangerous zone was now a striving community, a testament to the transformative power of mine clearance. In his speech, he noted I met hundreds of school children who had no idea that the ground they stood on was once riddled with landmines. This was a moment of pride and a demonstration of how far the world had come since his mother's 1997 visit. Harry's underscored the importance of continuing the fight for a mine-free world, emphasizing that complacency was not an option. He spoke passionately about Halo's work in Angola, where more than 115,000 landmines have been cleared, safeguarding lives and opening up new economic opportunities. The, demean the deminers, many of whom are local women, have transformed the safety and prosperity of entire regions. Harry hailed the Angolan government, leadership, and financial commitment to clearing over 15 square kilometers of land of minefields in Cuanto, Cubango province, which is helping protect the Okavanga Delta, one of the most biodiverse regions on the planet. Reflecting on the broader global challenge, Harry emphasized that the world is far from finished. Sorry, that the work is far from finished. Used in new and devastating ways in other conflicts, notably in Ukraine. Angola gives the world hope that wars can end and there can be a future. We should draw inspiration from Angola's example and stand with the country as it finishes the job. It's also worth noting that we would not be here talking about Angola. We almost certainly couldn't have realized the successes we've achieved were it not for Diana, Princess of Wales, and the incredible legacy she left behind. In 1997, Princess Diana walked across a cleared safe path in a minefield in Wambo, Angola, and galvanized the world's attention. Her advocacy set the stage the landmine ban treaty and for governments and the private sector to end the scourge of landmine contamination. The Halo Trust is thrilled, therefore, that her son, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, 
has directly carried on her legacy and the clarion call for landmine clearance. In 2019, USA visited that former minefield in Wambo, which is now that bustling town you saw in the video, and saw firsthand the promise for human life and the natural environment that a mine-free Angola will provide. You've been one of our most ardent voices and advocates for mine clearance, and I'm thrilled that you have made time to be with us here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted, therefore, to give the floor to Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Um, thank you very much, James. Hola, bienvenue. Uh, I'm honoured to be here this, uh, this afternoon. It's always feeling like the, like the end of the day. It's not yet. Um, as you know, the Hello Trust work in Angola meant a great deal to my mother. Carrying on her legacy is a responsibility that I take incredibly seriously. And I think we all know how much she'd want us to finish this particular job. We're all here because we're a band of true believers fighting for a mine-free world. Yes, it's an ambitious goal. We know the road ahead is long and challenging, but resigning to complacency and or despair are obstacles far more insurmountable. So we remain resolute as we work toward a future where landmines are a distant memory, where families and communities can thrive off of their land without fear of life-changing injuries or death where countries can finally declare that they are landmine free and experience the immense opportunities and change that come with it. We're fortunate to have Foreign Minister Tete Antonio and a large delegation of ministers representing President Lorenzo and the Angolan government here today. Angola, under President Lorenzo's leadership, has set the gold standard for commitment and accomplishment in demining their country. This goes beyond just numbers minds cleared and, and money allocated. It's about actual lives and actual progress. Angola has brought a collaborative spirit and relentless determination to this endeavor. Demining on such a monumental scale is a challenge for any country, let alone one that has emerged from centuries of colonialism and decades of civil war. Yet I he reminded the audience of the devastating impact landmines continue to have in conflict zones like the Ukraine and stressed the need for innovation. Halo's collaboration with partners like Amazon Web Services to utilize AI and drone technology for detecting and clearing landmines is a vital step forward in accelerating the clearance process and saving lives. With his characteristic um, sincerity, Harry concluded his speech by drawing parallels between the struggles of Angola and the hope that mine free land offers for the future. He said, we remain resolute as we work towards a future where landmines are a distant memory. A future where communities can strive without fear and land once dangerous can be returned to the people for agriculture, commerce, and everyday life. The Halo Trust event was a poignant reminder of the humanitarian legacy of Princess Diana and the torch her son, Prince Harry, continues to carry. The evening cel uh, celebrated not only the progress made in Angola, but also the dedication of individuals and governments committed to a future free of landmines. The hope is clear that this work will continue until no child, no community, will ever have to live in fear of landmines again. And that's it, folks. Take care. Thank you for coming and watching. Thank you for listening. I will be looking out for what next and bring that to you as soon as I can. Bye for now.